Guys, never be a woman's option. Never in your life be a woman option. She can never respect you or truly love you if you okay with being a option. You have to be a priority. I'm going to break this video down in two ways for you men can think about it. And you never can be a simp again in your life. Watch this video to the end. Like, comment, and subscribe. Speaking of comments, pinned up in the comment section is my Instagram. Y'all follow me on Instagram and like all my posts. Every time y'all do that, I get so hype and follow y'all back. But with that said, let's get straight to the point. Guys. When a girl try to make you an option, you make her option not optional. You make the decision for her when it got something to do with you. What do I mean? Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to go out with my girls. I don't know if I'm going to go to the club or am I going to come see you. Uh, Go with your girls to the club or whatever you're going to do because I'm good. What's wrong? Nothing. I usually don't say nothing. You can tell them because you not you don't make me an option. I rather say less. So I really don't think it matters. But silence speak louder than words. So why would you speak words when silence speak louder? What you want her to halfway hear? It? Mm -hmm. No. Make her option easy. A uh, other option because I got a story for y'all. So y'all better wait the story time. Because it's the realest story ever. And I want every guy in the comment section to say, salute, salute. Because I just did the realest thing ever. The realest thing ever. So y'all wait the story time. But I'm going to give y'all another example. All right. Now, if she got to decide to take her kid to the doctor and go to church or to come see you, you make her option easy in a positive way. Go give God his time first because he first. And then you put your kids next, you go, yeah. So it's a positive way. But either way, that woman respects you. So that make her respect your time. So when she around you, she don't fuss, she don't argue, she don't waste time. She feel like she's blessed to be around you. Now y'all got a negative reason of why you would tell a girl, I'm not going to be an option. Or you just show it with your actions. And then you had a positive reason. So let me just break down why women do this. Women are so confused that they don't know what they want. Like, they'll say that they want a good guy with a white picket fence, but they dating the guy that sell dope and be the ass. They'll say that, you know, they not for the streets, but they dress like the girl that's for the streets. They'll say that they not one of those, but they hang around and dress and act like they one of those. You get what I'm saying? Women only loyal to their emotions. You can have a good week with a woman, if her mind tell her, hmm, I just got that women intuition, she's going to act funny towards you that day. So if you ever just keep trying to make a woman happy, it's like pouring water into a bucket that got a big hole at the bottom. No matter how much you pour, even if you do get it up to the top, best believe it's going to leak out. The hole going to get bigger I'm telling you, and this for most women, because we still got 10% of queens out there because 90% is just for the streets. So what I'm going to do, because I'm not going to make this video long, I'm going to tell y'all something right now. And a matter of fact, the person texting right now, I want y'all to clap your hands and say, you is a beast. So I won't put a time or I won't put a date on there, just like I say on all my other videos. Believe it or not, guys, I have two to three guys that has nothing. They don't have a pot to piss in or a winner to throw it out of. They don't have two dimes to rub together. These two to three guys always watch my videos and go send my videos to the women that they think I'm talking to or to my baby mamas or somebody. And everybody call me laughing and exposing the guys that do it. And they do it every time thinking they cool. And whenever they leave, everybody be like, he's so whack. Why won't he get his own channel? Why won't he get his own girl? Why won't he get his own life? Why won't he get his own motion instead of watching his motion? So with that said, I'm not going to say a date or a time. But I'm going to tell y'all something that I have done. Even if it was five minutes ago or ten years ago, it was in the past. The past, the past. Watch this. 
Hey, that hey is in the past. You hear that? Bye. That bye is not in the past. So for all the haters that want to say, he made the video yesterday. I'm saying when y'all send the video that I don't put no time or date. But that's enough for the haters. But the haters would make you rich. So guys, make sure you take care of your haters. Without your haters, how can you become rich? So with that said, y'all listen to the story. It's story time. We five minutes and 33 seconds into the video. So this is the best story time ever. So I goes over a female house, right? She have two of her friends over there. Cool. Her friends supposed to have something to do. Her friends end up not doing it, and we all start vibing. So as we all start vibing, one thing led to another, and I got it in with all three of them at the same time. But that's normal for me. Like, you know, to all my haters, when was it? I don't know. I'm not Mike Jones. Back then, they didn't want him. Now he hot. They all on him. Back then, they did want me. And now that I'm hot, they want me even more. So I ain't never had that they didn't want me type of thing. So with that said, all right, I got all three of them. Mind you, I met one of them. Now these other three are all new to me, right? Went with five rubbers, left with none, none. So with that said, all right, so it's three girls. We done got right. We done ate chicken wings. We done had fun. They got nice cars. They was obsessed with my car, uh, nice SUVs and shit. We had a nice little time. So anyway, the girl asked me. I can't tell you what she asked me or y'all will put a time or a date on it. Well, I, you know what? I can tell y'all. She asked me, since you 6'8", I know you're a rich nigga, but could you help get a little ladder? Because me and my girl still can't reach up there because all three of them stay together. Can you please hang up these Christmas lights? I'm like, word, all right, I got y'all. They was like, can you stay till in the morning? I was like, nah, y'all listen, never stay over a girl house. Never stay over a girl house. Ask Mo3 what happened when you wake up in the morning. Ask Trouble DTE. Ask a lot of rappers and a lot of celebrities and a lot of guys that's in the grave what happened when you sleep over a girl house. See, a girl can lie to a guy, but she can't control if he come over. Either you gonna have to kill him or he have to kill you. Either way, you're gone. The prison jail, you try to get self-defense inside another man's house or inside his bitch house and you shoot him while his belongings there or whatever the fuck the situation is. We know it's a million different true crime stories and a million different channels, literally a million. So with that said, get to the point, I'm sorry. So all three of them, we getting right. You know, I supplied all the chicken wings, which is fine. Um, They had the alcohol, they had the bud, all that stuff. After it was all said and done, the girls had them bust five or six nuts a piece. They words, not mine. They was upset because I end up jacking out basically and all over all three of them. And they was mad because they was like, you got kids. So why the hell did you have to use your hand? And I'm just like, I mean, it was good. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's just the way I decided to finish. So they was like, okay, word, bet. So long story short, after all that said and done, they was like, since you going home at two or three in the morning, can you please come back in the morning around about eight or nine? We know you a busy guy. We know you got to get to the money. We can't believe you came here today, but can you come back? I said, no problem. No problem. So when I came back, all three of them now, they trying to slime each other out. Just like hoes do. One of them, this girl ain't like that. She's a whore. This one got a man. She only did this and that. So I'm just sitting there watching all three of them just throw each other under the bus. I don't care about none of that. So the one that I met, call me, call me, call me, call me that morning. Whatever morning that was, she called me and was like, hey, um, I want y'all to really pay attention. Get out your pens and notepads. She said, hey, um, are you still coming to put up the lights? I said, yeah, I'm still in the bed. It's early. She was like, uh, yeah, I don't want to spend the whole day, you know, doing likes. I said, me neither, but I'm doing y'all a favor or you a favor. So do you want me to come or not? Yes, if you could come now. I said, I can't come right now. We know I'm a businessman. I got money to put up, money to get, money to grab. You know, it'd be about a good hour or so before I can get on the road. She said, well... 
are you sure? I said, yes, I am sure. She said, because I got another guy that could come put them up and my ex want to come put them up. And my homegirl said, they got somebody that can put them up. So I, we still want you to come. But if you can't make it to put up these lights, then we'll call somebody else. What I tell y'all at the beginning of the video, I said, y'all could have been got them lights up. They said, oh, you on the way? I said, no, I don't care if it was your daddy, brother, ex, whoever. If I'm not the only person y'all asked to put up them lights, that means that y'all had options. And y'all actually called these options. But you was the first option. The other guy, but you was the first. You was the first. I said, I don't care if I'm the first option or last option. They said, that don't make no sense. You were first. I said, the first to work. Bitch, I don't even work for myself. Bitch, I'm financially free. Y'all, I said, you call me to work. And you got other niggas that'll work. I said, them other niggas are doing, they'll be happy. Because you know what them other niggas gonna want? She said, what? They gonna wanna fuck all three of y'all. She said, that's impossible. You don't know one of my blood sisters. I said, I thought that was your homegirl. That is my homegirl. And one of my homegirl. I said, but I fucked all three of y'all. But you're different. I said, I'm different. You just slid in my inbox two days ago. Yeah, 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 but, but, but you're different because I've been following your content. What content? Uh, what you put on Facebook. I don't really post on Facebook. I tell everybody on my channel at the beginning, they go to my Instagram. I'm not a poster. Oh, well, uh, what's the name of one of my YouTube channels? Uh, I don't know. You're lying. Stop lying. I'm not that special. And I'm going to tell y'all the craziest shit ever. And if y'all waited this long to the interview, y'all going to say, whoa, this man is crazy. This man is the GOAT. This man is blessed. He different. He different. I like that word, different. I had to go through a few words to, to get the right word, different. Let me tell you, this is the realest shit ever, y'all. I heard somebody fussing. But anyway... If I hear somebody outside my house, y'all, I'm trigger happy. So anyway, um, I be looking for a reason. Anyway, um, uh, what was, oh yeah, two of the girls, the one that I talked to, they had dogs, little dogs, little tiny dogs that you rub on. Uh, them little dogs, I don't like animals. Um, forgive me to all the pet lovers. I don't like cats, dogs, nothing. I don't even like humans, really. I'm about like money bag, yo. I don't like him, I don't like her, I don't like nobody. I don't like him, I don't like none of that shit. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, so two of them had dogs, right? And y'all got to listen to these red flags I pay attention to. So the dogs was all on me like they knew me. Most dogs are offensive, you know, defensive. So when all three of us started fucking, two of the dogs, it was only two there, they come in the room and in the room, it's like a little a little bed on the floor for the dog, like a dog bed. I don't know about animals, but it was a a, a little damn thing for dogs. So I know there's with two of them in there, but the girl that I'm fucking with only got one. So as we smashing the dogs, just in there staring at us and just just looking like it's normal. So I asked them, "Can y'all put the dogs in the other room?" They was like, "Nah, they used to this." I said, "Used to it." Damn, I'm glad I brought five condoms. So I ignored that. So while I'm getting top from one friend, I ain't going to get too explicit. This ain't only fan. While I'm doing my thing with the friend and the other friend, the other friend grab her dog and say, sit down because the dog trying to get on the bed. Who want a dog trying to lick on their balls or nuts? And better not touch my ass, I'm going to shoot you. So I'm like, all right. So she grab her dog and sit it back on the mat. So I'm like, y'all, listen, I don't mean no harm. But get these dogs out of here. These dogs keep getting close to me and I, I got my dick out. These dogs ain't going to bother you. They ain't going to bite. I'm like, where that? One of them said, listen, the dogs know what to do. They know they don't be in our business. I'm still hitting. What I tell you guys? I'm finna end the story. What I tell you guys? I know it's Cap that she telling me. I know she lying. I know it's Cap. But until I fuck, I believe a nigga. I listen to their lies while we smoke. I listen to their lies while we ate chicken wings. I listen to their lies while we were fucking. You understand? You understand? After I got that nut, 
They said, you staying tonight? I said, no, I don't want to be one of those. They said, what? I said, y'all have a lot of people staying tonight. They said, what you mean? I said, I don't judge. I'm not Jesus. Jesus is a judge. I said, but it's three big shirts over there. Uh, about a size 13, 14 shoe over there in the corner. I peep everything. You said y'all don't have a back door, but in the hood, we call it back door. What's that with the towel across it? That is a back door. The front door y'all left unlocked, I done locked it three times. I done locked it three times because y'all going in and out. I'm not saying that y'all trying to back door a nigga, but I ain't one of those. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? They was like, well, word, well, word, well, word, well, word, well, word. Well, you gonna come in the morning, we love you. You gonna, we gonna put up the Christmas like this, 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 this. I'm like, yeah, no problem. When I get done doing what I'm doing, I got you. So that's what we lead to today. When she called and she told me, we could have had anybody over here. Yeah, y'all could have, cause y'all do be fucking. But guess what? I'm not gonna be an option. Not even the three bitches. Now, the reason why I said this or told this whole story I was on the phone with somebody. I'm not going to say it for the haters to hear. The haters are going to go back and tell his girl. I was on the phone with one of my little celebrity friends. And my little celebrity friend was like, hey, bro, we all know him, but I don't do no name calling. So I'm like, all right. You know, I talk to, you know, uh, I don't talk to regular folks. If y'all see him, which I, the people y'all praise is the people that I ignore calls. So anyway, I answered this call. He's like, bro, why ain't you let me know? You know what I'm saying? I could have been down here. I'm like, nigga, you out. Y'all get a little hint. He like, I'm like, nigga, you all way in Florida. He was like, where? Send me some pictures. You know, every nigga went past of pictures, sent a couple of videos. He was like, hey, bro, um, bro, check this out. He was like, bro, you ain't staying the night. Y'all like, hell no. He was like, where? He was like, well, damn. He was like, listen, bro, I ain't going to hold you. The pictures you just sent me, them bitches bad. But you know that one girl you had by the name of Beep? I said, yeah. He said, I saw her the other day. If you put together 10 of them bad bitches like you just fucked, they still wouldn't be like this girl. And I tell y'all, if y'all real subscribers, it was a girl I had. I ain't never seen nobody on TV, on no porno, on no movie, on Hulu, Netflix, no TV show, Tyler Perry, 50 Cent. I ain't seen no bitch in my life as bad as her. That's my word. And I dropped it like a bad habit. Why? Because she was aggravating. She kept calling, kept testing, kept FaceTiming. FaceTiming. So I dropped her. He told me the celebrity. His girl is a celebrity girl. And she bad as hell. He told me, man, that girl, when I saw her, he said she could have killed me and stabbed me. I would have came back from the dead to be with her. Them three girls that you just got done fucking, Boy, I'm rich. You got money to... Boy, I'd have hung up their likes. I'd have hung up a mama like everybody like. He said, boy, you don't give a fuck. That's why they love you so much. Don't let that go over y'all head. They love me because I don't give a fuck. What did Tupac say? My attitude is fuck it and motherfuckers love it. And I was born that way. I got stored tattooed on my head. But with that said, guys, never be an option. I always make sure you the one and only priority. Only thing a woman's supposed to put before her man is God, her kids. Now, we're going off religion. You got to put God and put your husband next. But, you know, we talking from a fleshy standpoint off of morals. Yeah, if it's something about your kid. Now, listen now, guys. Women use work and kids to cheat all the time. Oh, I got to do this with my kid. My kid ain't got no babysitter. Uh, oh, I got to work like this and that. A lot of girls that I done dealt with in the past, all the haters, I'm not putting a date on it. When I hear they me and a husband call and they say, shh, they always say a lot about work, working late, working over, didn't know they had to work, got to work longer, or it's either something about a child. I got to pick up the child, especially younger kids that can't talk for themselves. See, you can call a 14, 13, 12 year old and say, hey, you with mama? They can tell you. Somebody young, they can tell you that they with somebody. They ain't going to tell you that they with the grandma and you got the grandma number. They're going to throw out somebody that you don't have no dealings with. Man, I ain't going to tell you how they cheat. I got videos on that. But with that said, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you really like this video. 
and make sure you really comment. And especially make sure you follow me on Instagram. And y'all see, I didn't say nothing about Facebook. But you can follow me on Facebook and TikTok. It's the same at tag, at the Real Tab Flames. But it's in the description and it's also in the comment section. That's what made me feel happy. Uh, What was it? Cal? Cat? Summer Boy? It was somebody. Man, they liked it. Like all 20 of my posts. And they fought. Man, it was a couple of y'all. But what I'm going to start doing, especially him. I heard I'm going to um, really start taking screenshots and really writing down and really giving y'all a shout out because whether a video get a million views or one view, you understand what I'm saying? I appreciate it long as I help one person. Like somebody had uh, wrote me and said, uh, bro, you telling people that means a lot, but that's like telling a fat kid not to eat cake. I said, if I could just stop one fat kid, if I told a million fat kids not to eat cake, if I can just get one person. See, I don't do it for the money. I'm already rich. I don't do it for the for, for the clout. I'm already lit. Remember the Mike Jones story? They've been on me. I do it to help y'all. Listen, when I say don't stay the night at a girl house, I say that because... The ones that listened, long as one don't get killed or got to go to prison for killing somebody. When I tell y'all not to put y'all heart in a girl and people come up to me and be like, bro, they mess me like, bro, I really was loving her. When I saw your video, I stopped putting my love into her and to come to find out she was fucking with my brother or fucking with my daddy. Or, These are real stories of fucking with her ex and you don't be as heartbroken. See, when you prepare for the worst, but you wish for the best. When the worst come, you already ready. You ain't got to get ready if you stay ready. Don't let that go over y'all head. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? And girls like the men that treat them like crap. I'm, a coward hit women. A coward mentally abused women. No, I'm talking about you just living your life and don't give a fuck what nobody think about it. That's enough to make every woman fucking want you. Because when you live like that, they don't know how to take you. They just want to take you. They just want you. I'm telling you, women, if you ask any woman what she want, I want consistency, love, faithfulness, and a provider. But look at what every woman dating. Somebody that don't do shit. Somebody that don't give a fuck. Somebody that got a pistol on them. And somebody that got a weed a weed pack in a sack trying to sell it or some, I'm just telling y'all what I'm seeing every day, all day, but they'll say that shit on the internet. They'll say that shit to everybody else. Girls like bad boys. The only bad boy that's losing is Diddy. I'm going to say that one more time. The only bad boy that's losing is Diddy. All the other bad boys are winning. <laughs> the only bad boy that's losing is Diddy. And that's because he wanted to go too far with the baby lotion and the kids and all that shit. Y'all got to go check that out on a whole nother channel. But with that said, y'all have a blessed day. I just had to get y'all free game. Well, it ain't free because my channel monetized. But y'all get what I'm saying. That little YouTube money ain't shit. Free game. Free game. <laughs> so I holler. Yeah, what? Well, cheap game. Cheap game. Y'all get expensive million dollars worth of game. No gilly, no wallow for much of nothing. I think we get paid, what, per 10,000 views, maybe $100 if that, maybe. Come on, man. Now, with that said, y'all have a blessed day. Like this video. Follow me on Instagram, pin up in the comment section. Love each and every one of y'all. Y'all enjoy the video. Like, 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 I holla, gang.